Hey everybody, welcome back. So, the folks over at Neo Eco um, reached out to me and asked if I would review a couple of products, and I said yes. And uh, so they sent me two things. Oh, actually, they sent me three things. They sent me an airbrush cleaning pot, which I've already got put together right here. Never used one before. Um, I'll get back to that. They also sent me another airbrush to review. And while this video is going, we're going to actually use this one and put the second coat on my Chevy SSR that I'm building. So I've already got that wet sanded and it's ready for a second coat. So um, this airbrush is the Neo Eco Dual Action NC t sj 81 um, I've been using their Neo Eco SJ83. So this is what I've been using. I've actually used both of them. They sent me two of those. I've been using this one for, um, it has the two millimeter needle in it, so I keep it separate. And the main one I've been using uh, since I've got it is the red one. So, and I, uh, I don't even use the chrome cup. They sent a chrome cup. Also, I had no problems with this cup being hard to clean with my cleaning method. So anyway, regardless, that's, if you've watched my videos here recently in the last couple of months, you've seen this, this is what I use. Good airbrush. All right. So the cleaning pot, the, oh, and they also sent a box of air, airbrush wipes. It comes with 15 of those, and it also comes with some uh, really okay. There they are some uh, some uh, some Q-tip type deals to, to clean your airbrush with. So you get the uh, the airbrush wipes. There are uh, 15 of these, and they're like an alcohol-based wipe. I've not even used one yet, but I will start using those. Okay, so the cleaning pot. First off. Um, I think this is mainly going to be for you guys who use acrylic paints. I don't use acrylic paints or um, water-based acrylic paints. Um, I've watched some videos on these airbrush cleaning pots and all the ones that I've seen, they, they're using um, uh, acrylics or water, uh, water-based paints. But I will do a quick video or a quick demonstration of how this works if you do use um, acrylic paints. Um, my setup that I have here, I don't necessarily have to have a cleaning pot because it, it sucks it out the vacuum the way I clean. Um, but I'll go through and show you how this works. So, and I'll do it with my uh, airbrush that's already hooked up. And I'll try to do it without the compressor turning on so it won't make so much noise. But the cleaning pot has a little filter right here so it's got a little filter they send some replacements they send a bag of like five extra what they do with that bag replacement filters it's here somewhere probably under the box cover no anyway they're here somewhere they send extra filters so when this filter needs to be changed these two these this is a uh, these handles the where the uh, airbrush sits that stuff has to it just goes right into place it pulls out just like that so when you get it, you just install these things. And uh, the, the pot itself is glass. So it's a nice glass pot. It's got seal and everything in there. And how this works is when you are done painting, um, you will take your airbrush. And I'm going to... Okay, I got the air on. It fits in here. Seals up into that, just like that. And then when you spray and clean it out, and I've got some window washer here. So let's just say I just got done painting with some acrylic craft paint or whatever. Some of you guys use craft paint and clear over it. looks great. Um, but to clean it, let's say you, a lot of those acrylic paints, I've noticed people just spray them down in the basement or whatever. It doesn't really have to have any like ventilation too much that I've noticed because it's a water-based product. It's not like it's a solvent. But you would feel your your uh, cup with this is window washing fluid I know a lot of you guys will use that I have played around with the acrylics but I never had any good success with it so I just stopped and got found the MCW paint um, and you would take your q-tip rather than getting one out of the 
out of the uh, box there. I'll just use one that I have right here handy. Same thing. Clean it out. Get it good and clean. Clean your your cup. Get all that uh, dried paint all loose. And then you just simply spray it into here. Now it's not all, the only thing that's escaping is air. Sucking it down, and it's just going to catch it into your bowl. So I thought, oh, that's pretty nifty. So we'll sit there and just, and I know the air compressor is going to cut on, and if it does, we'll go to some fancy music or something. I can see a little water vapor coming out through the filter. It's got to escape somewhere. It's got pressure going in there. So you just spray it, and uh, once you're done spraying that, and we're almost done here, you just check your cup, make sure it's uh, make sure it's clean. If not, run another batch of. There it is. Pull it out. And this is supposed to fit most all airbrushes. This has the little valve on it, which I thought at first, oh no, that's not going to work, but it works fine. It actually holds it even better. So it's got this little foot here so it won't turn over on you. So yeah, cleaning pot. They've got that. Uh, you can get on their website or Amazon. I think it's uh, somewhere around $16.99. It's the airbrush universal fits most airbrushes. So yeah, Neo Eco Airbrush Clean Pot. But that's it. This is all the stuff that comes with it. And uh, it was it just just pops right together. There's nothing to it. So it doesn't have any instructions except this because you don't really need any. So that's it. And then it catches your it catches your uh, your waste right there. And just dump it. I don't know if I could recommend it for like like solvent paints. I guess you could. Um, I guess you could spray that in there. That's and and I may even try that. But um, I have a way that I already use that works good. But if you don't and you spray acrylic paints or uh, water-based paints, give this a shot. So Neo Eco Airbrush Cleaning Pot. Thank you Neo Eco for sending me that. And also. I'll have that linked in the description below. Also, the airbrush now, and I've, I've only taken it, I've only taken the, uh, I've not taken it out, period. We're gonna hook it up here on camera, but it comes with this, comes with a fancy little, fancy little box here, so. It has this card here. It has a resource, uh, so you can go check out their resource center uh, if you don't know how to use an airbrush. Go check that out that comes in the airbrush and the uh, instruction manual here with the parts and uh, I noticed with this one this this airbrush is um, from what I saw on Amazon and their website $39.99 for this setup right here you get everything you see here it comes with a comes with a um, a hose which the SJ83 did not come with a hose but this one comes with a hose it comes with a cleaning tool and the brushes, so those are very handy. I've got several packs of these, and I use those to clean my airbrush. comes with the uh, larger cups with uh, the plastic cups with the lids, so if you're spraying a lot more paint, maybe I need to do that sometimes because I do find myself right in the middle of a paint job I've got to refill, so maybe I'll need to try some of these larger cups. It's got the two, five, and three, or 3.5 needle. The, the three, I don't know if it's three or 3.5, but anyway, it may say right here. It's a nozzle diameter. I don't know, maybe it says three, four, two. Nozzle cap, nozzle o-ring, nozzle. I was looking for the size. Anyway, there's a two. There's a five, and I guess this would be a three or 3.5. Um, also comes with a water separator that you would hook in line right there. Water separator with a, a Schrader valve in it to uh, let any water out. So that's pretty cool. Down here in South Georgia, it's very humid. It also comes with the tips for the uh, various size needles. So there's the five millimeter or 0.5 millimeter. This isn't, let's see, this is the two, 
So those are your tips that you would use for the corresponding needles. And then this is the little tip that you can put on the end of the airbrush. I generally spray with no tip on my airbrush. Um, this can be kind of dangerous because it's, it's a really sharp needle that's actually sticking out of the end. Um, and if you touch that needle on anything, you can damage it. Um, so they come with the, uh, the tips that go on it, but I, I just prefer to not use it. Why? I don't know. I just don't. But anyway, that's what that is. That's the little, one of the tips and uh, it's got a quick connect, which is super cool that you don't have to, if you have multiple airbrushes, you don't have to unscrew anything. You just pop it. So this goes on the, this goes on the airbrush and it's got the little valve and it just pops into place. I have that already installed here. So when I swap airbrushes, I just pop that off. So like I say that, that stays on your airbrush and uh, each one you get will have another one. So there you go. And the airbrush itself has a nice chrome cup. This is a little different design than the SJ83. Where'd that one go? So I'm not 100% sure in what the design difference will do, but you can notice that the body right here is a little different. As far as overall length, they're pretty much the same. Um, you can tell that the gold on the, the gold screw thing is a little closer, so don't know how that would affect the uh, spraying or anything like that. Cup comes off, got a nice chrome cup there, so that'd be that'd be cool. And I noticed that the uh, the tip guard on this one is a little different. It's got a it's kind of like a cutaway, so I'll leave that on there when I paint. I won't I won't hook up. Okay, and here's a different style. So if you had to uh, strap it to your another kind of hose or something like that, you got a barb fitting right there. Also has um, more O-rings and things that are inside this cup spares. All right, so let's uh, get the airbrush, and it's already got the the tip that I or the uh, the uh, needle that I use. I just really stick with the 3 or 3.5, whichever it is. This one, however, I do have a 2 in it. So if I want to do some more intricate type painting, I'll just switch to this airbrush. And so I'm going to let's see, we got to take put that end on it. Alrighty. So there's a you don't have to uh, Teflon tape this or anything. There's an O-ring right there. So we'll just take this and screw it right on. Not too tight. You don't want to blow the O-ring out. And then pop that out. Pop that in. So now we're hooked up. Just that easy. I do have a cutoff valve on my uh, mine. So if I, when I'm done, I just shut the air off just in case I have any leak or anything like that. There we go. All right, so, and I do have a leak, and it's coming from my, there we go, fixed. Fix the leak right here on camera. All right, so we will get set up. I'll mix some paint, and I will put my second coat of MCW Candy Apple Red on the SSR. So we will see. I will not test this thing at all, but I'll go ahead and just, uh, this will be the test. So if it comes out re looking real nice, then that's a plus. All right, so let me get set up and uh, I'll set the camera up and get the paint mixed. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I've got my mask on, so it's a bit hard to hear, but anyway, or speak. So I always filter my paint into my cup or into my airbrush. Make sure it's mixed. I've got my MCW paint mixed 50 50 with a uh, a little bit of 2K clear hardener. So I'll go ahead and add the paint.
And as soon as I turn on the vacuum, I'll turn the sound off. I'm not going to speed the video up so we can see what this thing does in real time. All right, so I'm going to hit the vacuum. Here comes the music, and let's paint. very first time I shot any paint through this gun um, cleans up easy too cleans up real easy uh, Nico Eco NCT SJ 81 39 99 I believe it was on Amazon or their website also the uh, cleaning pot so if I do start spraying some acrylics or water-based paints um, I can I can clean the brush right there in that pot just dump the water out because one thing that um, I guess is a pro with this is because when I spray I, I this is crazy but I some people may think it's crazy but I clean my brushes with a carbon choke cleaner that's what I use it's for years now it's worked great it sucks it right out of my vacuum and uh, it, it evaporates quickly water however because I have played around with a little bit of acrylic water based acrylic paints a uh, craft paints they uh, that water doesn't evaporate like uh, that solvent based stuff does so when I'm shooting it down the tube of my vacuum cleaner that water is going to sit there so to be able to have something like this so I could take my brush and uh, clean it out and clean the water out of it and uh, then go dump this outside that would be very very nice to have so anyway all right so you guys seen it the paint 
ah, looks great. Honestly, for the very first time ever touching that airbrush, shot great. Well, I did notice one thing. It shoots a little less paint than the SJ83. So SJ83 with the, with the, uh, well, actually, let me, let me be more precise because this is the one that's actually got the same size needle. So this gun seems to um, throw a little bit more paint out with the valve all the way open than this one. I actually kind of like the way that the the SJ81, this is 81, this is 83. I like, I, I kind of like the way this one shoots. Uh, it was a little less paint, a little more control. Um, but yeah, they're both great guns. And, and I, I mean, I've shot I'm, a bunch of paint jobs so far with this. Love it. Haven't even hooked my other guns back up. It's just, it's right up here. It's uh, uh, Iwata Neo. I haven't even hooked it back up since I got this gun because it works great. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, go check them out. I'll have them linked in the description below. Thanks to Neo Eco for sending me these products to review. And also, don't forget to go get you some airbrush wipes. They're an alcohol-based wipe. Um, I'll have all these things in the description of the video. But... You can't even use an airbrush if you don't have any paint to shoot through it. So I encourage you guys to go over to Hobby Nut Models and grab some MCW enamel that I just used uh, and use it in your Neo Eco airbrush. Works great. As well as tons of other products that Mark has over there, www.hobbynutmodels.com. But if you hit the link in the description of this video, it'll take you right there. And if you use that link and you go purchase something from Mark, it'll give me a little bit of credit. It helps the channel out. But regardless of the fact, go check him out and grab you something. Check out Neo Eco. I'll have those links. Mark at Hobby Nut Models. Uh, grab yourself a cool model kit and paint and everything you need to go with it. And uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks to everybody that supports this channel. And um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you to everybody that helps. All right, guys. Can't wait to see this thing get dry. That is a beautiful shine. That is That shine is nice. Candy. My first candy apple red paint job. That's two coats of MCW candy apple red. Look at that. That enamel is a beautiful, beautiful shine. Sure does. Sure does. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for everything you do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon on another video. All right, guys. You take care. See ya. Bye.